Over 30 million people access YouTube every day and 5 billion videos are watched daily on the platform. YouTube videos frequently show up in search results. YouTube is owned by Google after all. And if you're already advertising on Google via PPC, search campaigns, or shopping campaigns, setting up your YouTube ad will help drive more traffic to your website across the board. If you're not already running ads in Google, don't worry, you can still easily run ads on YouTube. I'll walk you through the entire setup process later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. If you wanna see how you can get results for your business using YouTube ads, keep watching and stay tuned through the end because I'm going to show you how to set up your ads from start to finish in the Google Ad Manager. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Morgan with Life Marketing, the digital marketing agency that helps small businesses grow. And today I'm sharing the ultimate beginner's guide to YouTube ads, including how to set your ads up in your ad manager from start to finish. As we often do, Let's cover some of the basics of YouTube before we get into the detailed how-to. So what's so special about YouTube ads? Well, YouTube is the second most visited website in the world behind its parent, Google. There are billions of searches completed daily. YouTube, like Google, is a search engine. So like other search engines, the users on the platform often have higher intent to purchase or make a decision than users on other platforms like Facebook or Instagram. Intent targeting is much easier on YouTube and Google has a huge network of in-market audiences who are just waiting to find what your business has to offer. Why would small businesses advertise on YouTube? You may think that this is big for movies or larger companies, but on most social media networks, your ads are being viewed by a small portion of your audience. 6% organic views is typical for videos. And even then, only 45% complete 30 seconds or more watch time. On YouTube though, 72% of people watch in-stream video ads all the way through, and video ads cost on average between 10 and 30 cents per view. Couple this with the higher intent audience that's found on search engines like YouTube, and it's an excellent place to share your message and introduce your brand to new people, plus get those conversions. So how do you know when it's time for your business to start running YouTube ads? YouTube ads work great for every business across the board from local businesses to international businesses. If you have a video that you can create and a product that you can sell, YouTube ads are right for you. Let's talk about ad placements before we get into anything else. When you create a video ad on YouTube, you have a lot of options for ad placements, so let's look at those and decide what's best for you. Your first option is skippable in-stream ads. These ads appear before, during, or after a video on YouTube. After five seconds, users have the option to skip these ads. You're charged depending on the bidding method that you choose. I like to use CPV or cost per view so that my clients don't have to pay as much for uninterested viewers who choose to skip the ad. This ad placement is the most versatile, allowing you to use this format when you choose a number of different goals, including sales, leads, website traffic, brand awareness and reach, and product and brand consideration. We'll go over all of the goals a little bit later, so don't worry if you don't know what those are. This placement is also an option for you if you choose no goal for your campaign, which we'll also talk about later. The second placement is non-skippable in-stream ads. These ads appear before, during, or after a video on YouTube and are not skippable. Non-skippable in-stream ads must be 15 seconds or shorter. You're charged per impressions for these ads. The non-skippable in-stream ads use target CPM bidding. You'll choose brand awareness and reach for your campaign goal to use this ad format, or you can choose no campaign goal. Target CPM will try to get you as close to your cost per thousand views, which is what CPM stands for. Number three is video discovery ads. Video discovery ads appear on YouTube search results next to related YouTube videos and on the YouTube mobile homepage. You're charged when users click your video thumbnail and expand it to watch the ad. You'll choose product and brand consideration for your campaign goal to use this ad format or again, you can choose no goal and still use this ad placement. Fourth placement is bumper ads. These ads are six seconds or shorter and cannot be skipped. They show before, during, or after a video. You're charged per impressions. Bumper ads use target CPM bidding. You'll choose brand awareness and reach for your campaign goal to use this ad format, or you can choose no campaign goal. The fifth placement is outstream ads. Outstream ads are mobile only ads and only appear on websites and apps running on Google Video Partners. Outstream ads are not available on YouTube. 
You're charged when someone sees your video play for two seconds or more with an outstream ad. The final placement are masthead ads. These ads play without sound automatically and show up on the YouTube home feed. You've probably seen previews for upcoming movies here most frequently. These are currently only available if you go through a Google sales rep, so I don't recommend them for most small businesses. Your ad selection options vary depending on your bidding choices and your campaign goals. So let's talk about those before we go through a set up your ad. Your bidding selection and your campaign goals go hand in hand. If your goal is views, you'll use cost per view or CPV bidding for true views. As an advertiser, you're charged more for true view ads. Why is that? Not all ads on YouTube are true view ads. So let's go over how those are defined first. Your ad is considered true view when users watch at least 30 seconds, watch the entire short click, or click on or interact with parts of your CTA or your call to action. What's great about TrueView ads is that if your audience isn't interested and skips the ad, you don't pay the higher price for the TrueView. Since the ads are opt-in, you choose to keep watching if you don't skip, you can experiment with different ad links and styles and see which works best. You can select the CPV bidding strategy for campaigns with the following objectives, sales, leads, website traffic, brand awareness and reach, and product and brand consideration. Like with other ad placements and bidding strategies, this option is also available if you choose no goal when setting up your campaign. If your goal is brand awareness or reach, you'll go with target CPM. With this bidding type, you'll only be able to select non-skippable in-stream ads and bumper ads. You're paying per thousand impressions. When you consider your bidding, remember that you're selecting the amount you're willing to pay per thousand impressions, not the amount you're willing to pay per view or click. And of course, you can also run ads using target CPM with no selected goal in Google Ads. If your goal is product and brand consideration, you'll use target CPA where you'll set your desired cost per action. The action can be a click or engagement of some kind and you're charged when someone takes that action. The maximize conversions bidding strategy is a great option to let Google do the hard work for you. Google will get as many conversions as possible with your daily or campaign budget. Let's create a video ad together from start to finish. If you don't have a Google Ads account set up, you'll want to do that before we move on. If you've got that all set up and ready to go, let's head over to ads.google.com and get started. Let's set up a campaign together from start to finish. First, we'll go to ads.google.com. Sign in if you're not already. And in the left column, we'll click campaigns. Press the blue plus to add a campaign. I'll make sure it's connected to the right account, but you probably won't have more than one option. Okay, when you're setting up your new campaign, you can select a campaign goal. This will guide you in creation of your ads. You can see we have a lot of choices here, and this will depend on what you want to achieve. For this example, I'll do create a campaign with no guidance. So again, you can see subtypes in your campaigns. We'll go with video since we want this to be on YouTube. And in your campaign, you can choose different video options. Read through all of these and click learn more to find out more. For this example, we'll go with custom and video campaign. Click continue. When you go to create your campaign, you want to name it something that you'll be able to remember. Your bid strategy will default to cost per view. You can change this here. Target CPM would be used if you're looking for impressions. I'll keep mine on maximum CPV. Next, you'll select your budget and dates. Put the total that you'd like to spend for your campaign or daily. I like to use a daily budget and let my campaign run until I manually turn it off. I found that this works best for optimizing reach and spend. Next, you'll choose networks. This allows you to show your video on places outside of YouTube. If you don't want that to happen, just uncheck any of these boxes, but I'll leave it how it is. Next, select your locations and languages, and then content exclusions. If you don't want your content to show up on the internet in certain places, you'll let Google know that here. 
For example, you can turn off live streaming or you can make sure that it doesn't show in embedded YouTube videos. I'll leave everything how it is for now. Next, you can choose related videos that will help increase engagement. I like to do this, but it's not a required step. If you're going to do this, find the video that you want to use on YouTube. We'll grab this URL and paste it in here. You'll notice it automatically pops up. This gives you a preview of what this will look like in your ad. So your regular video ad will show here and you'll have two more options that show up down here. Okay, we'll grab our second video. Just grab this guy here. Looks like a good one. And paste your video. There you go, automatically populates. If you want to remove it, press this X and then add another. Okay, we'll click done. And we'll keep scrolling. There are additional settings here, but I wouldn't worry about this as a beginner. Next, you'll create your ad group. We'll call this IG for small bids. Now we're choosing people that we want to target. We have demographics and audience choices. For demographics, you can choose by age, gender, parental status, or household income. You see all these options here. For audiences, you can look at the existing Google audiences, like business professionals and business services. And you can also browse or search for what you're looking for. I like to browse just to see what's available. So spend some time there. This is also where you would upload custom audiences, like your email list for retargeting. Next, you'll decide if you want audience expansion. If you haven't tried this before, I recommend testing it to see how it works. Sometimes expansion works really well, other times it's just a waste of money. Next, you'll select keywords that are related to your video. We can type in keywords that we think people will be searching for. You should use keywords that you've already researched that you know have a high volume. But if you don't have any idea, you can put in your website and press enter, and a whole bunch of options will pop up for you. Don't try to add too many keywords here. You wanna keep it pretty focused. Next, select your topic. So this is how you're gonna categorize your video. And you can read more about options down here. You'll click this down arrow to expand for more options. And then choose your placements. This is where you want it to show up. This is a great option for if you want your video to show on a competitor's video. I'll choose a well-known marketing channel for this example. So then you'll just make your selections. They'll show up over here. And you want to watch this far right column. This gives you an idea of how many impressions you'll have. And if you narrow too far, it will let you know. Okay, now go to your bid. $3 is a pretty good place to start. Now the top content bid adjustment option is a little more advanced, but you can increase your bid if it will guarantee you a spot at the top. So that's this option here. Um, if you're not sure how it's going to work, put in a percentage and Google will calculate it for you over here. I don't like to mess with this for beginners though, so we'll move on. Next, we'll create our video app. So you're gonna grab that URL. We're gonna go Instagram Reels for this one. Okay, once your URL is pasted in there, this will auto-populate. Now you're going to choose your video ad format. You notice you only have a couple of options here, which is totally fine. Choose one of those and then enter your final URL. You can change your display URL if you like, but I usually don't. Include a call to action. Learn more or watch more. Or buy now, whatever you'd like it to be. 
Notice the character limit. You only have 15 characters here, so be succinct. Decide if you'd like a companion banner. That shows on computers only. And you can auto-generate using your channel banner, which I like a lot, or you can upload your own image. Name your ad something that you'll be able to identify later. And click Create Campaign. You can quickly review all of the campaigns set up here and continue to campaign. You'll see your ad here. It's eligible, which means we did everything correctly. And this is where you'll be able to check how well it does once the ad is running. It may take a couple of days for you to start seeing your ads on YouTube and optimization of bidding and placement will take a little bit longer than that. In my experience though, Google approves most video campaigns the same day. Let's quickly go over a few tips from Google for optimizing your videos for sales. First tip is to make sure Google Ads conversion tracking is set up on your website properly. This is crucial to making sure that people are taking the actions that you want them to take on your website. Second tip is use video action campaigns to make it easy for viewers to engage with your business on and off of YouTube. A note on video action campaigns. According to Google, video action campaigns are a simple and cost-effective way to drive more conversions across YouTube. Video action campaigns take the best features of TrueView for action and scale them to more places on and off YouTube, all in a single automated campaign. The third tip is to set up remarketing audiences. These are the best audiences because they've already expressed interest in your website. Number four is use custom audiences, customer match, or similar audiences to reach consumers who are already interested or actively searching for your product on Google, or they're people that look and behave similarly to your existing customers. 80% of people say they typically switch between online search and video when researching products to buy, so high-performing keywords on search should also work well on YouTube. My fifth tip is to use audience expansion. This will help you reach 20% more conversions at a similar CPA to your original audience. And remember that CPA stands for cost per action. Number six is to try cross-network reports to help you understand YouTube's role in the customer journey. This is a beta program, so it's not necessary. And if you're just starting out, it might be uncomfortable for you to use. So this is optional. That's the ultimate beginner's guide to YouTube ads. I hope you found it helpful and that you have a better understanding of how to run ads on YouTube. Video is the best way to reach new customers and YouTube is a powerful tool that reaches billions of people worldwide. Using good targeting and creative video, you can find a high intent audience ready to watch your video and learn more. Don't let fear hold you back. We've got a video that shows you our at-home studio setup so that you can see how easy it is to produce quality videos. Check that out if you haven't seen it already. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on our weekly digital marketing content. If you have a request for a future video, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in an upcoming video. Happy marketing!